Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here. So, let's continue playing as Tlalocan, or Tlalocan, also known as Tlaloc. So, right now we're going to continue and just try to blaze through this part of the campaign as I auto-save, just because we want to get to the unfortunate death of Tlaloc, so that we can actually start beginning to do something in the game. So, um, I had some a little bit of feedback while playing uh, Tlaloc, or... Tlalocan. And I really wanted to make sure, though, that I, I, I understood exactly where all my factories are being built. So I don't want to build those factories up there, actually. If uh, Well, actually, maybe I do. I think civilian factories overall will be a good thing to build. Just, I won't build any military factories, so, because eventually, when our Mexican daddy dies, rest in peace, Tlaloc, in the future, we will need to go to war with pretty much all of our enemies. So, uh, I'm not going to build any military factories, so no one can really have an advantage. But, I will build all these civilian factories. And, because of that, when we reunite everyone, then we can build a ton of military factories. So, but I did take a look at where <clears throat> one of my favorite sons will be. You know, one of my more accepted sons. You know, we have Santa Ana, we have Moctezuma, we have Zapata, but no one is like my bumbling son... Maximilian. So, uh, and I did check out where everyone gets their territory, who gets split off. So, uh, Tlaloc's lair will actually go to Moctezuma, everything south of Tlaloc's lair, except, and then Zapata, my, the communist anarchist type of son, he will get the western portion all the way down to this word, August. I'm going to call it August down here. And then I get the rest up in this little corner with Maximilian and just the northeast corner. So, let's continue just researching, building, making Mexico great again. Ooh, we definitely do want local workplaces. And I've had some time to think about how I want my robot policialis to be. Right now we're only using support robots, but if I put on combat robots, they lower your hardness by 1%, which I was kind of surprised to see. Your hardness goes down by a little bit. Um, it makes your combat width go up by 2.5, really. Which is... Or I guess just two, which is kind of interesting. For support robots, they go up by two as well. I don't know, just... I think for the most part, I'll probably keep this to be just straight up support robots. Light robots, obviously. And have my own divisions that have just heavy robots, even though these do already have heavy robots in here. What would happen if I changed it all to heavies? Oh, I want armor. So if we did that, organization would go way down. Ooh, that's not good. We get only 1.7 more armor in total, a little bit more piercing, a little bit more breakthrough in defense. So really, if you want to use heavy robots, you have to use some light robots as well to make sure your organization and all the other stats are actually okay. You have greater energy cell capacity, but you use way more cells. So really, if you want to use heavy robots, make sure you have some light combat or support. You have some support robots as well. Oh, and we have some... Some new robot divisions, which will be great, but ultimately these divisions will be cast away in the future because, well, our daddy won't be here forever. And we must make sure that we do okay with him in the time being. So right now I have no coffee with me. I usually like to have some coffee, but I finished it before I did because I wanted to see, like I said earlier, I spent time to see how all of the country will be split up once we once daddy's gone. And, uh, yeah. I guess Nueva Atzlan is fighting Chichen... It's it's a so that's kind of interesting. The game definitely runs runs more slowly since the addition of uh, these Mexican countries and probably some of the rework up here. But I did check the next patch. We'll say the next update for Old World Blues will be for more of the Utah territory, the more Mormon territory, which would be very very cool to see because I really don't know that much about Heaven's Gate or Pharaohs or New Canaan and stuff like that. So. That will be very, very interesting to experience together, my friends. And I'm also joined here by my one cat, well, one of my cats, named Binky. He's lying down. He's licking his paws, and he's enjoying his life, which he should be. So, uh, honestly, this focus tree isn't very super interesting, just because in the end, we're going to be changing focus trees. There's nothing that we can really do here that will make things radically different. But for now, I'm going to increase my stability, because in the end... We're going to have a 0% stability, and that's not going to be a lot of fun. So, I guess we'll talk a little bit more about this first. 
Uh, I don't really need... Have I already built up everything? All the civilian factories I can in... No, I have not. So really, the only there's only five states that I will be able to keep, we'll say, uh, when the war breaks out. And that'll be the Glowing Ash, Ruin Depot, Montare, and Linares, as well as the Great Silo. So those are the places I really, really want to build up to the best of my abilities. They, all these states have a lot of resources, which is really great. But I just want to make sure that these places are well taken care of before anyone else's will say. Ooh, actually, if you get a foundry, you can get greater cell capacity. Huh. That actually might be worth investing in. Obviously, as you can tell, I've not invested at all in my navy. We are currently making some light cruisers, which it's alright. I mean, they're light cruisers. They're not, they're not great ships. They're actually just a block, a rectangle. Okay, I didn't know we were using rectangles for ships now. But okay, it does cost a little bit of manpower, but uh, this stuff it looks so complicated. Holy crap. This is... Ores? Wait, what do we... Light? Well, we can keep time going on until we have something else. Wait, so what is this? We currently have a battery, two mounted guns, which is a medium mounted gun division, medium deck, two mounted guns, which is, which is what we currently use, point defense, which increases anti-air, lowers the light attack by a little bit, Supply is just basically the same, and we use actually less manpower. So if you want more anti-air, you go with coach gun, light deck weaponry, so you get a mounted gun, which actually lowers manpower. I think medium deck weaponry is probably for the best. Nothing on radar. What about this? No. Mm, we could probably... The AI in this game really never uses anti-air. I think we'll be okay. Uh, send a, a search party because we lost contact from our scavenging party, which is okay. This gives you slightly more anti-air, and... A little bit more light attack. But with two mounted guns, you get a little bit more anti-air. You, you you use more manpower, which is fine. Slightly more supply use. Yeah, that's, that's really just better to do. But we can't afford that. We can't afford a lot of things. But that's okay. We weren't meant to afford a lot of things. Oh, man. Uh, but that's alright. So we definitely need more metal. I don't mind... Uh, I need to put some scrap things in places. Why don't we decrease that by one? And we increase the metal supply up here. And that way we can slightly, slightly increase the amount of energy cells we make. Right now, for resources, uh, energy cells look like batteries, basically, in my opinion. We no longer get the effects of scavenged old world factory schematics. Actually, we got too much political power for me right now. Uh, energy cells. Do we have a location of where we can get more energy cells? Or is that just kind of built into each specific country? That might just be built into every specific country. Uh, daily gain. Oh, it's from electricity. Okay, I didn't know that. Daily gain, 142. Base gain. So really, you want as much electricity as possible, which you convert into um, energy cells, which I did not know. I did not realize that. It's cool. Uh, let's see. We can go to partial mobilization so we can build things faster. I think that would just be for the best. Cool, we're getting some naval training, which is awesome. We're doing workers' compensation. We're blazing through this as fast as possible. Taking a look at all the research. Taking a look at, at the focus. And just kind of watching Mexico become bloodier and bloodier as two competing, I would say, pretty regional powers. Large regional powers are trying to kill each other, which is good for us. Always good for us when competing regional powers try to kill each other. Uh, let's see, I can't do this because we need vacuum tubes. And we have no vacuum tubes, but we'll get better talk yard output in exchange for that. So anyways, guys, we're going to scavenge for old world tech. Because I really don't have a lot of things to use my political power on. Uh, but I do hope you guys are having a great day. I really do mean that every time I say that. I hope people generally are doing well. Even if you're not, I just hope things will get better for you if you're not doing well. So, uh, Desert Rangers... Yeah, this is definitely a different way than what I normally play. Usually, I like to play... When I play Hoi 4, I like to just go guns blazing, get out as fast as possible, conquer as many small nations, um, if possible, against other people, just beating the crap out of everyone as fast as I can. So this is definitely a different take for me. Just, you know, kind of just waiting and watching. is It's almost like a Drew Durnell gameplay video, just... It's interesting to see what people do, but I would sometimes prefer being the one who does the world changing, I suppose, I'll say. Outposts, Prodigal Sun, uh, building slots. Yeah, I think I like building slots. Ooh. 
and we no longer need gliders because we can get biplane fighters. Glorious, glorious, glorious. Triplane. As much as I like bombers, I think I'm going to use mostly triplane attackers, so let's do that. We got some more, I guess another robot division, which is fine. Where are you guys stationed at? You're against the cartels over here, which is fine. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. And, of course, we are already out of metal, which is pretty normal. Pretty darn normal. I love that the Texas Arms Association is here, here is, of course, with Todd Howitzer. I just wish they had their own specific, unique focus tree, because this is more like a generic settler tree. But, uh, you know, to each of their own. They'll eventually, the mod developers will eventually change that up, so that'll be fun. A basic weaponry, can't do anything there. We'll get better militia training for now, I guess. Gazar's Legion is killing off Forgers, but maybe not. The Forgers are actually looking like they're... Could get some serious booty, perhaps. Obviously, Kaiser's Legion has way more manpower and divisions, but eh, you never know. Whatever we can weaken Kaiser is good for all of us. Twin Mothers is still there. Navajo Nation is still there. Uh, Cowboy Country. The NCR. I, the NCR has definitely changed quite a bit, in my opinion. From the since the beginning of the mod update, I've seen them actually have the civil war with the the Boneyard, the Baron Republic, also them fighting the Western Brotherhood, all at the same time, and them losing, and the Enclave actually popping up in Greater Dayglow. It's very interesting to see how or the different directions the NCR can take regarding this mod and the most recent update. Now I've heard that the next update will probably be in February of 2020, so I feel confident in or at least mostly feel confident about playing this mod up until that time, just because I hate it when there's a mod update that breaks your save. I love it when mods get updated. I love it, love it, love it. But when they break your game save, it just, oh, it's terrible. But, I don't know, just, I can feel pretty secure knowing that playing this, we won't have too many game breaks or save breaks, so... Honestly, I've been kind of waiting for the next Kaiserreich update. I'm not sure when that's supposed to happen. I've really wanted another Kaiserreich update for a while. I forget when the last one was. I think it was fairly recently, actually. But it feels like, at least to me, it feels like the Kaiserreich mod hasn't been updated in a long, long time. I don't know. I want to get back into Kaiserreich, but I really would love to see a new or at least reworked German focus tree. But I know for the German Empire and Kaiserreich, that they're going to redo that. Focus tree last because they want to make sure everything else is flushed out first. But you know, I've been rambling on a lot about that, and the foragers are getting their butts just whooped. Oh, Kaiser Daddy, you are beating everyone up. 2,000 losses. Wow. They've lost less than 200 people against the foragers. Holy crap. That's not good for all of us. Ravy Bink? Uh, he's he enjoys being in my room and just spending time with people. Let's see, next up. Reconciliation or awareness workshops. That might be good to keep people in line. Eh, let's see. Arms workshops, satellite graveyard. I'm gonna guess. I mean, there's really no point to not do it, I will say. I mean, we're just kind of trying to blaze through time, like I said, so. Uh, 41 days, food drives for the poor, military renovations, workers' compensations. Uh, you, you guys want to be compensated for your work? What? Uh, let's see. Construction speed. Engineering. Reward techno... Oh. This civilized this tribal. We are advanced, which is exactly why I kind of want to play this nation. And so far, we're advanced. And you can see all the buffs for each type of country, or each country in general. Um, we don't really need to do this yet, but I don't mind doing... Getting better stats for our robots. And I will be focusing a little bit on um, support companies for our infantry because I want to make sure that we have an even or healthy mixture of robots and infantry because we will be fighting people who ha probably in the end times will have power armor and we got to make sure that we are prepared for them. That we can pierce any bad an bad enemy that fights against us. And our robots, they're, they're okay. I will make sure that these are actually 20 width before we're done here just because 20 armor isn't a lot if you're fighting enemy divisions that have good anti-tank, so that's always something to keep in mind. Uh, ooh, can't do that yet. More monthly population, recruitable population factor, and infrastructure construction speed, conversion energy bonus, speed bonus. 
Resource efficiency gain. That's not bad either. I really like these things. Robotics, support companies. Um, let's go ahead and get some dynamite. Stock attack, defense, trained mongrel. Those are, oh, plus 20% suppression bonus. Ooh, recon. I gotta get some recon for my infantry. Recon. Oh, you actually lose breakthrough and heart attack? And, so oh, I, oh, that's different. You actually lose stats when you use recon, but recon, it can be so good for you. That reconnaissance bonus that you get? Hmm. Now that kind of makes me question whether recon is actually worth it or not. If it, I mean, you don't lose too much of a heart attack and defense and breakthrough and stuff like that with recon. So maybe that's still worth it? I don't know. NCR declared war on the Mojave Raiders. Pretty normal. NCR is a murderous supposed democracy regime. But we'll see what happens with the NCR. Lexicon of Tactics. God, how, how are we already halfway through this video? It feels like I've been talking for like 15 minutes, which I have been, but... You know, they always say... The time flies when you're having fun, so... I just... Ugh. Where does the time go, man? So yeah, uh, yesterday, I, I didn't... I said I had a Discord link. I forgot to put it in the description below yesterday, but I eventually fixed that. Nice, we can welcome our soldiers back. That'll be great, but uh, yeah. I don't have a huge Discord. It's only a few people right now, but if you want to come out and, you know, just say hi or, you know, hang out, tell me how, how you're doing. You know, you guys are my followers, I suppose. So tell me how you guys are doing, what you guys are playing, what your thoughts are about things, you know, what games you're playing. And yeah, just come on and say hi or something. So that'd be cool. I'll have the Discord link for sure in the description below. And right now we have 153 political power. What can we do? We want to focus on the defense or the offense. I don't think we're really going to get into a major war. Ooh, daily air experience gain. Honestly, would probably be the best. We cannot get to war economy because we don't have enough world tension yet. or And we have to be at war for that for the most part. So, I think and I think and I believe, I know that right now... Ooh, actually, fighter production costs. That's pretty good, but let's just go ahead and get some air experience gain. We have five research slots. That's pretty good. Uh, how is our production? We're still building a lot of civilian factories. That's good for us. That's really, really good, actually. And we'll build a lot of infrastructure. Make sure that we're nice and ready. We can even maybe build a few... Dockyards aren't really all that important, really. So, we'll do that. Oh, we actually have an extra military factory. I want to save one factory for... Oops. Um... Bombers or attack planes or something and honestly, I'm not sure what's going on with notifications by Google because when I play this game or even when I turn my computer on that I use to record video gameplay I always get these notifications from you know Windows 10 or something and right now I have gotten another ad saying burn fat without exercise. You won't believe their transformations. I Never requested for this games today info, please Stop ruining my life. But whatever. Triplane attacker. Cool. Actually, that's really good. Monoplane attacker. Ooh. Lightweight metals. We can't do that yet. We can do that soon. Um, infantry. Definitely want to get better logistic companies because I'll put those on my infantry guys. Mm, maybe we should just do that immediately. Oh, we need more. Oh, we don't have any army XP. That's all right. We can go ahead and train some boys. Go ahead and do that. You guys are already fully trained up for the most part. Uh, yeah, we are getting a little bit of army XP every single day, which is good. Scavenge for stuff. Robot scavengers. Well, there's really not much for us to do in terms of political power gain. I will say that. But if I can, I want to make sure that when the war begins, we are well off. Or at least when the war begins between the suns. We'll be okay. Defense, support, uh, me medical chem... Oh, what is this? Medical chem companies. Oh, yeah, medical chem companies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ooh, maintenance companies actually could be really good as well. Yeah, these will be important for us. XP loss goes down. Yeah, do that. Very interesting. A couple more of these guys. Just throw them on there. No one cares about these guys. No one cares about ships. Go and repair, repair, repair. 
We got so much naval XP. The naval tree in this game, though, is honestly, in my opinion, definitely changed. I mean, look at look at this. I'm not even sure what to do anymore. I mean, yeah, you want your battleships, I guess. Trirames, and then which just auto advances to Briggs, which is historically a giant leap between technologies, but whatever. And you have your sailboats, armed crafts, paddle steamer, battle barge, floating fortress, refurbished tanker. I think they got rid of. Oh no, they have personnel floating palace, which looks like it. Holy crap, that's extremely expensive for producing these. But um, carriers. So really, I think the best thing would be to, uh, schooners. That looks really like a schooner hull, all right. And I know we have some extra divisions up there, but it doesn't really matter. Hmm. So these are light ships. Those are like destroyers, I think. These are like light cruisers. We want triremers. We want heavy ships. Big, hefty, thick ships. That'll be good to get eventually. You guys are training, giving us quite a bit more daily army XP, which will be great to do. Ah, oh, love it. Resource extraction, vipers, 2277. We are a year closer to when our father, unfortunately, must leave us because he's only at 58% available memory. And we've taken quite a bit of a stability hit already. Um, feeding the people, we can do that. We might become a little bit more democratic, but that's okay. Reconnaissance company's nice. Uh, dynamite, I will need some anti tanks, so I might not go dynamite this time. We get eight soft attack, but I want. Machine guns, which gives us a little bit less soft attack, but does help us with more defense than dynamite. So let's do that next. That'll be good because if you play Old World Blues and the Hoi 4 in general, you know that the AI isn't the smartest, and you can just kind of game them and bait them into attacking you like crazy, which I have shown on this channel quite a bit already. So, man. Oh, yeah. But you know what I'm really happy about, guys? Is that. Compared to the Enclave campaign earlier, I can actually use saves. This is great. I love. I have monthly auto saves. I can save it whenever. I can actually turn my computer off. I mean, this is a great addition. <laughs> oh, man. But yeah, what is the Rio Gr Republic of the Rio Grande doing under Dante Guerra? 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 Ooh, fuel refinement. Nice. Is there anything else? More soft attack. Can't do impact resistant chassis. Uh, ooh, soft attack and hard attack when we will need those. That'll be important. Ooh, I can actually add on. We have already 12 combat width. If I add in logistic companies, armor, piercing, everything goes down except supply use. But we do get more HP, but if we do add in recon, we lose a little bit of armor. We get more defense, a little bit more breakthrough, soft attack, hard attack, recon, which would be good. Air attack, HP goes up, reliability goes up, surprisingly, even though it doesn't say so over here. Huh. But I really don't want to lose any more armor or piercing. So, I mean, it's not really worth it. The hardness stays the same, which is good. But for these divisions... Let's go ahead and make... Ooh, logistics too. Nice. Special forces, I might use those. Oh, yeah. These stats suck. Hmm. Yeah, I might as well add these guys on there now. It doesn't really matter. That just means that... There's more for us to train here and use more army XP anyways. Cool. I need anti I will need some anti-tank eventually. Maybe not today, maybe not tomorrow, but I will need it. Uh, for vehicles, I don't think we really need those too much. Let's get some close air support stuff going. The flesh is weak. Oh, you know the flesh is weak. The mind can be strong, but man, the flesh is weak. Oof. Uh, scavenging options, can't really do much else here. Daily, more daily uh, army experience game, but I want to make sure we build as much as we can first. Even though building stuff takes... It seems like building stuff takes quite a while to do. But maybe that's just me. Maybe just because the game is running just a little bit slowly, or more slowly. Kaiser's Legion is having a little bit of difficulty with the two suns. Simulated Centurions. Oh, there we go. Scavenge Old War Tech Factory Schematics is done. They have quite a bit less manpower, but they're probably building a lot more divisions. Uh, two sons, they're almost out of manpower, so they're probably not doing very well right now. Let's go ahead and scavenge for even more world, old world tech, so we can get more boost to building things, which will be phenomenal. 
Yeah, I would hate to be twin mothers or Navajo nations right now. The Washington Brotherhood still seems to be struggling. They definitely—it seems like the Washington Brotherhood has definitely changed since the update. Since they don't always get taken out by Old Country or Bellingham or the other nation that they kind of annex over time. Yeah, I definitely need that that support company. But uh, but they've already allied Port Ma. They're not a puppet, I think. No, they're not, and. The Washington Brotherhood has definitely been reined in, it seems like. Uh, but we need to go protecting the people as well. Uh, sure, we'll get some outposts. Oh, shifting alliances. Old country has joined the... Oh, they've actually joined another Northern League as well. Ah, now that... I don't usually don't see the Brotherhood allying with the old country, but, you know, things can always change, my friends. Things can always change. What is this? Unionized employees... Oh, less than 70% support for the people. That's not bad. Add three civilian workshops in Chalchihuites? The heck is that? Leon. It's probably where Zapata will get his... Ah, uh, there it is. He'll definitely get three civilian factories. I want to make sure that he's not too powerful when we get there. Food drives for the poor. Daily people support. You get more monthly population, which would be good. But more intellectual support, more political power, daily elite support, so we get more army XP, which is always necessary, but I really want to make sure we focus very hard on our buildings right now. But yeah, for Guardia, um, police, if I add this in right now, we get more defense, more breakthrough, more, quite a bit, a little bit more soft attack, hard attack, we use more supplies, of course, we get more energy cell capacity, we use more energy cells, though. We get a little bit more reliability, which is nice. And we get plus 40 HP, which is good as well. Now, this doesn't help our hardness, but doesn't help our armor or piercing either. So, this just gives you more sustain, really, out of anything here. So, that's not bad. To Cowboy Country, huh? Cowboy Country actually went to war with Tohono Nation. I've never seen this happen. Huh. And to Morgadia Divisions, and he's done. Pancho Villa has a full army. Thank you, Pacho Villa. We have quite a bit of naval XP now. Interesting. Long boat hull. Long boat hull. Ooh, the troll war was annexed. Interesting. Just go for these thingies. That'll be fine. I mean, these ships suck. I want some heavy ships, but whatever. Uh, Triplane attacker. Those will be useful. I don't know if the AI is actually smart enough to use planes yet. So we'll see what happens. Make sure squad automatic weaponry. Very good. Uh, we need to go back to industry. I'm ignoring industry for some reason right now. Better construction speed. Thank you. And we've got a lot of political power again. But honestly, a lot of the stuff doesn't even matter. Support equipment. I have been doing a lot of support equipment stuff. That probably would be good. We can't do war economy ever, so... And this stuff just helps you with flat bonuses now, which we don't really need to use. Because hopefully we won't end up in a war. So... Production, because uh, if I produce more stuff now, it just gets split by into three because of the way our Mexican daddy dies. So I really don't want to help them out. I don't mind researching more stuff more quickly, so I think that would be okay. Wow, Kaiser Zijin is really struggling with two sons, which is good. Which is very good. But two sons is out of manpower. Kaiser Zijin is doing okay. No longer, no longer get the effects of workers' compensation. So now we actually have three lines of stuff going on at the same time, which is awesome. Awesome, awesome. It looks like Umbra was taken up by the Western Brotherhood, like normal. What is the NCR doing? The Boneyard, Sumer Pacification can, uh, Protocols. We're going to protect the people next, become, have a little bit more war support, more recruitable population, and yeah, that'll be good. As I just want to speed straight through this. How is my son Santa Ana, who kind of is split off from me? That's so cool how they made this, you know... Motion? What do you say it? I'm not going to say motorized, but just more dynamic, I'll say. He's got a lot of manpower. That's a little concerning. Mandatory civilian equipment. The death of the father can no longer hold his emotions back, leading us to an uncertain future for his army. Mexican regulars. El Presidente. Advanced power management. He's got a lot of his stuff done. Santa Ana is definitely a much, very, very interesting country to play as in Old World Blues. But... He's going to have to be taken out eventually. He will. He must be. Because Maximilian is the true son. And how's this war going? 
Let's see the stats for Chichen Itza. Looks like they're getting beaten back a little bit, maybe. Well, actually, maybe not by the Nueve Atlan. Uh, Do Sun War. Well, Kaiser lost 5,000. That's good. Uh, Vault City. Military Hardware. Are they still... Oh, maybe it's a border... Yes, it might be a border fight down here, actually. If anything, that might be a... Yeah, border war, border crisis type of thing. That actually might be what be, is, must be going on. Uh, do public projects next, please. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Annexing decrepit... Decrepit defenses. Become controller of this place. Huh. I can actually take this... Ooh, that does not sound nice. Let's stop doing that first. I don't know about this event. We need political power to do this. Petro Chico gets the gods are angry. Huh. Now that's interesting. I did not notice that before. I don't want to hurt Petro Chico. And I don't want to give this territory to whoever will be down here, which is Moctezuma. So I might not do that. Just because I don't want everything to become too unbalanced. And I don't want to hurt Petro Chico. They seem to be okay, and they're going to need some defensive help against whoever's down here. So that would be good to make sure we don't do too much. We add outposts, which I don't like. Discovery of old world tech, very nice, very good. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I want to regain our southern defenses, because we should be able to defend well enough. I don't want to hurt Petro Chico, and I don't want to make Moctezuma any stronger by taking away stuff from Petro Chico. So I don't want to do this, but if you guys have a comment about annexing the decrepit defenses, leave a comment below. I think that'd be really good about your perspective on how or why I should do that or should I not do that. So other than that, there's really much not else to say. We're down to 48% of available memory. We are trying to protect the people of Mexico and we're just trying to make sure that everyone is doing okay in general, doing very well, doing okay. Ooh, these guys definitely need to uh, repair, for sure, and actually upgrade themselves. How long would it take to upgrade? Oh, six days. Yeah, do everyone. Do everyone to upgrade. Yeah, that's fine with me. I I really don't care. Guevara's... Oh. So I implore you, the people of the Republic, to welcome the formation of a government representing the resolve of the downtrodden, the oppressed, and the enslaved. Today, your voices and the voices of all Mexico have been heard, and by your will, Avera to skewer the bull has been forged. I and my government shall not rest until the menace known as Kaiser and his so-called legion have been put to death. In the coming months, we will gather our allies and strike. The policy of my government is clear. To wage total war against the madman known as Kaiser. He is a foe who has devoured entire cultures without remorse, a tyrant who has flourished and rebelled in his own catalogue of atrocities. The government exists for one thing, victory against all odds, victory in spite of overwhelming odds. People of Rio know, of Mexico, I implore you to rise up, to fight, to cry out against the darkness which threatens to swallow us whole. When the bull lies bleeding at our feet, I will drag Kaiser before you and all and try him for his crimes. I couldn't finish reading that, dang it. Oh well. Ooh, employee fitness training. Uh, yeah. Ooh, military armament. And Camino a los Aztecas. Three uh, arms workshops. Uh, before we end... Oh, it's down here in the south. Can I get anything for Maximilian? Come on, guys. Please. Maximilian's important too, my friends. He is one of my sons. He may be a bumbling idiot at times, but he is still a son. Still quite a son. But with anyways, with that in mind, guys... There is really not much else to say here for today. So with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. Leave a like if you liked me rambling on for about half an hour talking about Mexico and my life. And, uh, yeah. Leave a like if you liked the vid. Subscribe if you're new. Check out the Discord link below if you want to, you know, see what I'm doing or what you guys are up to. And tell me what you, what you guys like, what you guys don't like. And I will see you tomorrow as we will have a great time talking more about... Kaiser and how evil he is and all his sons and how everyone doesn't like Kaiser. Thanks for watching.